Hi buddies, welcome back, it's Anne Sophie and today I have tips and tricks for your start with your ThinkPhone Bar Motorella. We'll get right to it. First thing you can do is to look at the adaptive brightness and the screen timeout. If you go to your drop down menu, you have this bar right here and if we set it to really high or really low, we can adjust the screen brightness. When we go to our settings and go to display, we can set the screen brightness here as well and we can say adaptive brightness so that the screen adapts to our well surrounding. And then the screen timeout, it's set to one minute right now. You can choose between 15 seconds, 30 seconds, two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, and 30 minutes, whatever works best for you. Just click on it and then you can go back. Next thing you can do is to block um, unknown numbers. For that, you need to go to your phone icon, go to the three little dots, go to settings, and then go to block a number. So you can block calls from unidentified callers and you can add numbers here. If we go back, we can go to caller ID and spam and then also say filter spam calls, prevent suspected spam calls from disturbing you. If you've done that, you can go back and then we want to look at the auto rotate. For that, you need to go to your drop down menu again and then you see auto rotate here. It's off right now. Let me give you a quick demonstration. When we go to our photos and we go to our library, then nothing will shift. I mean, we also don't have any photos right now, but still, if we go back, turn that on, you see our screen turns sideways automatically. Um, then our, well, screen shifts sideways if we want that. If we turn our screen like this again, then it's, well, back to normal. We can turn that off again, so you can say, so you can decide if you want your screen to turn or not. Then we can look at the dark mode. For that, you need to go to your settings again, go to display and then go to dark theme. You can turn that on just all day or if you click on it, you can also say schedule. You can say turn on at custom time. So for example, at 10 tonight, it will turn on and tomorrow at 6 a.m. it will turn off. Or you can say turn on from sunset to sunrise and then when you have sunset in your area the dark theme will turn on and if you have sunset the light theme will appear again. The dark theme uses a black background to help keep battery alive longer in some screens. Dark theme schedules begin when your screen is off. Next thing you can look at is 5G. If your provider and your phone support 5G, but you're in an area where you just can't access it, then it might be useful to turn that off. Otherwise it will drain your battery a lot faster. You can go to your settings, go to network and internet, go to mobile network, and, and now you can say preferred network type. It's set to 5G right now. You can choose LTE, 3G or 2G. We just set it to LTE because our provider doesn't even support 5G. So our phone doesn't have to look for a 5G connection. Then the screenshot, you can take a screenshot by the probably most common way to press the volume down and the power on and off button at the same time. But you can also make a screenshot with three fingers. Just put three fingers on the screen and then it will make a screenshot as well. If we click on the screenshot or go to our photos, we can edit them here. We can put filters on them, uh, adjust them and well, save them as we like it. Next, we can set up the fingerprint for an easy unlock of our phone. For that, we need to go to security and privacy and then device lock. And we can say fingerprint here. Now we can choose a screen lock fingerprint and pattern fingerprint and pin fingerprint and password. We say fingerprint and pin, one, two, three, four, all right. Okay. And, and now we can say what we want to display on our lock screen, show all notification content, show sensitive content only when unlocked or don't show any notifications at all. You can choose here and then unlock with your fingerprint, touch the fingerprint sensor to unlock your phone, authorize purchases or sign into apps. Set up. 
using a screen protector. A screen protector can affect how the sensor reads your fingerprint. Each time you add a new screen protector, re-enroll your fingerprint for the best accuracy. Got it. Find the sensor, touch and hold the sensor icon on the screen. You'll need to touch the sensor several times to record your fingerprint. All right, touch and lift. Put your finger on the sensor and lift after you feel a vibration. Move your finger with each touch to record your entire finger. So we'll do that. Fingerprint added. Now you can unlock and log in and make payments with your fingerprint. All right, we'll try that out. Lock our phone and then we want to unlock it again. Perfect. Next thing we can do is we can create app folders to organize our phone a bit. For that, you just need to press and hold on an app and then drag it on top of another one. And now you see this folder created here. We can name it and we can also put other apps in it by press and hold and then put it in the folder. To take apps out, you need to press and hold and then just drag them out. And if you have only one app left in the folder, it disappears by itself. Last thing we can do is we can have our phone show the battery percentage in the bar here. For that, we need to go to settings, battery, and then battery percentage, show battery percentage in status bar. So we can say that and we, you can see it, we have 51% left. So now you always have an overview of how much well, battery there is. So that were tips and tricks for your start with your Think Phone by Motorola. Hope you liked it, hope it helped. So thumbs up, share and subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Bye.